Miss Sadhana, a 17-year-old young adolescent girl, was seen by us recently at Rajan Dental Hospital. This girl had a unique uh, condition called Papillon Leifer syndrome. This is a very rare syndrome that affects approximately one in a million individuals. This condition unfortunately affects the teeth, both milk teeth and the permanent teeth, leading to loss of these teeth in a very short span of time. So you can imagine the enormous trauma for this child going through wearing dentures during the school going period. So when we saw this girl, we had options of doing something very, very advanced, a technique called as a zygoma implant technique for the upper jaw and a technique called all on four technique for the lower jaw. Basically, this means doing titanium implants in the jaw bones and restoring them with a fixed set of artificial teeth. How is this different from a conventional situation? In a conventional situation, when people lose teeth, they still have sufficient bone in the upper jaw and lower jaw, wherein you can insert titanium implants, titanium dental implants which are biocompatible, and then anchor some fixed artificial teeth onto them. But in a situation like sadhana with papillon leifer syndrome, the bone availability is also very less. There is not sufficient bone to anchor these implants. To our knowledge, in international publications, scientific publications, the youngest patient recorded on date is 22 years of age. And Sadhana, when we did the procedure, was 17 years and 6 months of age. We did the procedure on June 3rd, and in a matter of four days, she had a fixed teeth. She stayed in hospital just for one day. All other appointments were as an outpatient procedure. We also had some good support from the parent company, which is the Satish Dhawan Center, Sri Harikota. And they were also very happy to provide her a special sort of grant to enable her to undertake this treatment. We are today also part of an outpatient network called S10 Health, which brings together high quality outpatient services in dentistry, ophthalmology, sports medicine, dermatology, cosmetology, gynecology, etc. So that we come under one umbrella brand which will have accountability, ease of access and quality assurance. We subsidized the treatment cost for her to almost 50% because of the uniqueness of the situation and we also felt that we needed to help such individuals who are really dental cripples at a very young age. At 17 years, if you have to wear dentures and go to school or college, you can imagine how traumatic it can be. So we reduced our fee to almost 50% of our regular fees and helped this child. And we are also very proud that she has been a very bright student and she's actually got very good marks in a 12th standard and is currently actually awaiting medical counseling in Andhra Pradesh to get into a medical college. We wish her all the best.